Good morning, my beautiful Virgos. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Yes, Virgos. What am I going to you guys? I'm going to the Modern Witches Tarot deck on you guys. Okay, Virgos, what's up? What's up? What's up? Tell me your story. Ooh, God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Virgo collective. Okay, Virgo. Okay, Virgos, what's up? What's up with my Virgo collective? Spirit, please and thank you. Open me up to my Virgo collective. Ooh. I didn't want to see the Ten of Cups there. That was interesting. Knight of Swords, expect communication, but the timing isn't going to be right. So you're going to hear something, but it's going to be the wrong place, wrong time, and you're going to be like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Now you tell me? Now you fucking tell me? Virgo, what's up? Mmm. Yeah, you know, you were staying stagnant in this situation because you were waiting for communication. And maybe once you move the fuck on, uh, then you hear news that you shouldn't have. Or if you've uh, stayed put, then you hear news that you should have fucking left. So you're going to be like, what the fuck? Divine timing, though, it's like, but just remember, Virgo, when that happens, everything has to happen in that order, okay? So don't get too sidetracked. Don't get too caught up in it. Don't get too pissed off. It had to happen that way, okay? Whatever the hell comes down, it had to go down that way because divine timing's at play, okay, Virgo? Whew. Mm. We're going to ring that bell already. Okay, I'm liking the bottom of the deck. I am loving the bottom of the deck. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Okay, Virgos, we got the full card here, and I love the full card showing up. Taking a leap of faith and trusting what the fuck is up. But it's followed by the Five of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this, I'm going to tell you, might be a cautionary tale, okay? You might want to be a little leery that you don't go into something and that someone ain't trying to set you up, Okay. Now, this could be someone in the background just trying to set you up on some shit. This is going to be a fast-talking energy, a fast-moving person in your life. This Knight of Wands energy could be an ex, maybe a, a ex-fuckboy, fuckgirl type energy. But just be careful they don't lead you into a situation you don't want to be in. So, don't be too foolish that you ain't got your street smarts about you. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you still, you still got to be smart. You know, you ain't going to be... Uh, walking aimlessly through Central Park with your money hanging out your damn pockets and people knowing what the fuck you got. You know what I mean? Mm. But I think this is just someone around you that could be trying to stir some conflict, okay? So if you're going about doing your thing, being all happy and shit, just know you got a character that might be trying to stir some shit up, Virgo. And I think they're just going to stir some shit up to keep you from moving away. They don't want to see you move. So if you're leaving somebody, oh, that's it. If you're leaving a partner or something, they may be trying to stir some shit up, talk shit uh, uh, about you to other people to get people uh, all tied up in your shit to keep you from from moving in the direction you're going. They want to keep your ass stuck. But don't you worry about that. They're going to get their judgment. Whatever the hell they got planned ain't going to fucking work. So Virgos, that's good. Just, you know, keep your street smarts about you. Don't do anything foolish. Eight of Wands. Again, we got Messenger Energy, guys. Three of Wands holding you back. Five of Cups. Uh, you're, I think you're dealing with a manipulative energy here. Uh, it could be in a relationship. It could also just be a friend or a family member, guys. Uh, they're just wanting to keep you stuck. They see you're wanting to move on, but they don't want to see you do that. Someone does not want to see you get the healing you need. To, to do what you need to do. Because with the Eight of Wands here, you want to move forward. You know, uh, you're, you're ready to, to freaking take action. But it's like, as soon as you start trying to, someone comes in and tries to halt it. They'll tell you like bad news. Oh, oh you can't leave yet because X, Y, Z. You can't do that because A, B, C. You can't, you can't, you can't. 
And it's keeping you in this continual feeling of, of despair, sort of. Like, what the fuck? I can't move away from this. I can't move away from this person. I can't move away from this situation. Again, guys, work, love, life. Because these cards could read either way. So take it how it resonates in your situation. I think for some of you, you've just given up showing a person any emotion. You've just cut off your emotions. You're not feeding the situation anymore, and this person doesn't like it. You've actually gone through and done the healing. You are ready to move on and move the fuck away from this. But someone does not want to see you do that. Because this person isn't very healed. Uh, three of Wands in reverse and the Temperance in reverse. We got a lot of impatience here. Someone is growing really impatient in the fact that you're going to fucking leave. Whatever situation that is in your life, guys. Work, love, life. Friends, family. Fuck, for some of you, this could be a work situation. They do not want to see your ass go. Spirit, what else you got on this? So, Virgo, be very careful of that energy. Like I said, that could be friend situation, family situation. Could possibly be a lover type situation, but I'm really thinking more friend family. Friend family co-worker. Give us another story for Virgo. What else you got for my Virgo collective? Please and thank you, spirit. Oh, I'm not liking that energy, guys, because you are like so ready. You're so done with this shit, but it's like someone just keeps always bringing something up to keep you stuck. Because they know once you go, you're fucking gone. They know once you start moving forward, you're, you're not going to ever look back. Because you got options. That's why someone may try to come in with this Knight of Cups energy and Nine of Pentacles in reverse. To keep you from leaving. So, if this is a relationship... You know, this person's going to try to come in just to stop you. Or this is a person that, that has. You know, when they come into your life and they first made that offer, they just fucked your shit up. They prefer you in that energy, though. That's what I don't like. Because as soon as you start showing signs of moving on and getting away from this energy, that's when they want to do their shit. You, maybe you've already bought the fucking plane ticket. You know where the fuck you want to go. But someone just keeps stalling you. They keep stalling you. They keep stalling you. High Priestess, Page of Pentacles. They could be paying readers to find out what the fuck you're doing or watching tarot readers. Someone knows what the fuck you're doing. They're, they're, I'm, I'm getting more stalkerish energy with this Page of Pentacles energy because this person knows that they can't come in and even try to keep you from staying. For some of you, this could definitely be a friend. A friend that just like to talk shit about you. Yeah, a, a real bitch that like to talk shit about you behind your back. And if you're deciding to pull away from this, which you are, because you've neglected their offer before, this person was just a lying, deceitful bitch who always fucked with your shit. Mm -mm, don't let him, Virgo. And I don't think you are. You're going to put an end to this. You're going to put an end to this situation. You know where you're going. Like I said, some of you could have already bought the fucking plane ticket. You're like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I don't give a fuck anymore. Stop with the bullshit. I don't give a fuck anymore. Some of you, this could end up in, in, in the court of law, right? You might have to get a fucking restraining order on somebody to put a stop to this bitch. You might even be fucking with your car. So y'all might want to watch, you know. They could get a charge because they catch them like slicing your tires or some shit. So I'm going to go do some shit. People are watching. Whatever the hell you're doing, Virgo. Things are about to take off in your benefit. You're this queen of pentacles energy. And as you as you nurture and grow yourself or whatever the hell it is you're working on, what you're moving towards, the universe is going to reward you. So getting away from this toxic energy is actually going to be a blessing. You will be rewarded for it. You did not go through it for nothing. But someone is still watching you like a motherfucker. Why are they watching? Why are they watching Virgo? Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. I told you I wanted to see that Nine of Cups when I first started that initial spread. This person does not want to let your love go. They don't want to let this relationship go. Even though they put no fucking work, 
time or effort into it. Or perhaps they see that you're done putting any time, effort, or work into it. You're just done. And this person don't like you. Virgo, just stay on course. Eventually, you're going to say fuck it and move away from this energy. You're going to go forward and do what you need to do. And you are going to be blessed for doing it. Okay, Virgo? Peace, love, and light. I love you, Virgos. I love my Virgos. Oh, yes, I do.